Hi there, friends. This is Shozy. I'm with my unicorn. I'm still making adjustments to him. Um, I just did his, his mane and his tail. I straightened those out. Yes, I'm in the kitchen, <laughs> as usual, um, because they needed to be redone again. This was a total nightmare. It was like spider webs. So I uh, straightened that out and uh, spray gelled it and all that kind of thing. So anyway, I got a package in. Yes. And yes, it's from American Girl. Yes. All right. So let's open it. <laughs> I don't really like American Girl. You know, not by this package. You can't tell I like it. Okay. So who did we get? American Girl has kind of frosted my nubbins lately. <laughs> I didn't get these on sale, which is a bummer. Okay. I did, I did have some rewards, so I used them, but, um, last spring I had $45 in rewards and couldn't use them. I was really bummed about that. And I wasn't going to call them again because I get so sick and tired of calling them. It's ridiculous. They say you can use three rewards up to, uh, on a purchase per purchase and you cannot, you have to call them. And I'm sick and tired of doing that. So I just let that $45 go. Yep. I did. Okay, but I got Truly Me, uh, number 116, because it looks to me like she has the Marie Gra Grace mold sculpt. And yes, I got Truly Me, number 115 as well, because looks to me she has the Marie Grace sculpt. <laughs> I'm a, I am obsessed with Marie Grace. Okay, yeah, I have several of her. I do, and I have made s several of them into one of a kinds. I have my original Marie Grace and Cecile that I bought before the company dissolved their line. And I have like one piece of furniture of theirs, the chair, the chair slash um, table desk thing. Uh, I don't even know what it's called right now, but I have it. It's in my my Samantha house, my, my Edwardian slash steampunk house. Um, that's in my, my bedroom, but, um, that I don't show anybody cause it's, it's not for showing. <laughs> it's nobody's business. There's a lot of things that aren't any biz business. Like I wrote a poem today that was very erotic and I'm not going to just show anybody that I'm not going to read it cause it's nobody's business. <laughs> so I did show a couple of people at work and they were like, Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. So they liked it. Anyway, um, so um, I just really like the MG face sculpt because she looks more human, if nothing else. She has high cheekbones. Like me, she has a chin. She's got a narrower nose, kind of, but it still has the top of it, you know, is perky. It flares at the bottom. I don't know. She has a deeper set eyes. Um, so anyway, that's this, these are two that I want. And I love colored hair. I'm a colored hair freak because I always color my hair. Different colors. I'm getting ready to do it. I have to do a regular... Okay, enough about me. <laughs> I'm getting my headshots done. And you have these are professional, so I have to have a regular type of hair color. But I'm going to go with cranberry because why not? You know, I don't care. Um, I wanted to go with a blue or a pink, but, um, cause I'm growing my, my roots out again. I bleached them. And so, um, I wanted to do something on the roots, but I'm, I've got to wait till after my headshots and then I'll do something funky like teal or something like that on the roots and let them, you know. So anyway, when I play Dorothy, I might have to get a wig. That's fine. Um, anyway, so these are the two that I got. I'll debox them and show you. Cool. I don't know if I can do this or not. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. Okay. Usually I cut these. Because it's easier just to snip, snip. Oops. Okay. Because then you don't have to worry about trying to maneuver the stall out of here. These are in here pretty tight. For me, anyway. Let's see how fast I get her out of here. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> At least they they make this a little easier. Okay, so let's pull her out. Alright. 
Oh, she's so cute. So adorbs. I really like her. And I do keep all my boxes too. I have a whole pile of boxes now. Okay, here's the second one. You know, I wish I did have the boxes for like um, Jess and um, Lindsay and you know, some of the original um, dolls of the year and some of my um, like PC dolls um, that I had to get um, after they, you know, were released. So I don't have them. I don't have their boxes. The ones that I, I keep, like I said, I keep the original. I keep the boxes because I think it's important to keep the boxes. Okay, so here they both are. Um, they're really cute. Uh, I do like that she has, uh, number 116 has a, uh, her hair is feathered right here. And I do like that she has a little bit different um, hair. It's more crimped, really, than the other doll that I have, the other Truly Me doll that I have. However, you're getting bare bones, man. They don't have come with jackets. I do like the um, tie-dye dresses that they have and the sandals, which are really a nice improvement over, you know, the the star dresses, which everybody gets sick of, got sick of those, but I miss the jackets, you know, I really do miss those jackets because I love the jackets, but, um, I feel that you're just getting a doll, dress, undies, and shoes for the price point, sorry, I, um, you were looking at my compost, <laughs> so it's, you know, I mean, and I customize dolls, so I wasn't sure if I was going to leave this hair on her or not, um, just because, uh, or if I was going to customize her hair or take her hair off because I, I thought it was too much like the other one that I have and I'll, I'll put her, I'll put them next to one another, but anyway, there they are. Tell me if you like them, which one you like. I'm going to leave her hair, of course, because I got her because of the bloody hair and the, and the sculpt. So, anyway, tell me which one you like. Thanks. Thanks for watching, for subscribing, for all that kind of good stuff.